Hi and welcome to this DCP Web HTML5 and CSS Beginners tutorial. In the first part of this CSS tutorial, I want to just give you a basic overview of what CSS is and show you some examples of how it can function. In subsequent tutorials, we'll look at building a basic website again, but this time we'll use CSS to do some styling. And then later we'll start to use Bootstrap to build more complex websites. So let's go and open up our web browser. And it's quite important for you to understand what CSS is doing. So if we go to W3C CSS, if we type that into Google, W3C CSS, and we click on this link here, W3 School CSS. This is where you can really learn a lot, a lot of information about CSS and HTML5 as well. Uh, JavaScript, SQL, you've got all the different tools up here. And we'll be going through a lot of these tools, uh, especially SQL, PHP and Bootstrap. Bootstrap's the next one we'll tackle, but first of all, we're going to look at CSS. And if you want to learn more about HTML5, if we didn't cover certain things because it's quite a, a broad subject, you can click on HTML5 and you see all the different tutorials and all the different elements here. But at CSS, when we click on here, really what I want to do is show you this introduction. So when we click on introduction, here's a good demo. Look, it says CSS demo, one HTML page, multiple styles. So the idea is that if we look at quickly, if we open up our folder here, and the last project that we worked on was this Andromeda Galaxy, do you remember? So we just drag and drop that into the browser. What we could do is create CSS that will manage all of the styles, the formatting, where this picture is located. Is it in the center of the screen? How tall is it? How wide is it? Uh, what font color should be used on these, these links? What happens when I roll over it? How this table can be formatted? How this video can be resized depending on the browser resolution? Because at the moment it doesn't resize. And same with the image. The image gets cropped off of here because it's not wide enough, right? So we can use CSS to manage a lot of this stuff the map and all of these different elements, even like bullet list, the type of bullet that we use on the bullet list, loads of different things we can use CSS for. So a good example of that is if we look at this little example page here. So it's got style sheet one. So there's a style sheet that controls how these titles, the links, uh, this blue box, this green box at the top, the navigation down the side, how that is controlled. And if we click on um, style sheet two, you can see, look, all of a sudden it's changed. It's actually the same information. The information, the HTML, so the raw code, if we look at this, right click here, view uh, notepad plus plus, the actual HTML hasn't changed at all. The HTML stays exactly the same in this example here that they're showing us. What has actually changed is the style sheet. So if we click style three, you'll see it's a different style. The navigation's now at the top, style four, Again, it's black and white and it's different. So this gives us a lot of power. What it allows us to do is to build our HTML. So we look at HTML here, we build the base structure. What is the raw content, like the foundation of the page, right? The content. Then we use CSS separately to design it. How do we want the, you know, how do we want this welcome to my homepage? Where do we want it located? And do we want a background color like this green? If we don't want that, let's go to style two. Maybe we want it to be a bit bigger and it can have a red background or we can click on style three, then it has no colored background. But the actual HTML content hasn't changed. It's the CSS that is being used to manipulate how that content looks on the page. So that's quite important to understand. So in the next tutorial, we'll start to use uh, CSS to manage some of our design work when we build our next basic page. So we're gonna start again and build another basic page. We'll write the HTML5, and then we'll start to implement CSS on top of that as we go along. So it'll be quite interesting to see how these two technologies work together seamlessly to really design nice websites. So we'll start off with something basic, and then we'll move over to Bootstrap, and this will give us much more control, much more power over our page. A lot of Bootstrap is predefined. So a lot of the tools in Bootstrap, the CSS itself is, is already built for you. But before you go and use Bootstrap, it's worth understanding the fundamentals or the basics of CSS itself. So that's what we do in the next few tutorials. So join me in the next tutorial where we'll start to use CSS to build up a basic web page and HTML5 and combine them together and we'll see how far we can progress uh, just with some basic knowledge and then we'll start to upgrade that knowledge as we go along in this tutorial. 
Okay, I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.